Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. Large language model virtual assistants such as ChatGPT or Gemini are very powerful and we all use them for our day-to-day -day learning purpose. However, using these public LLM virtual assistants are strictly restricted within the organizations either because of the security concerns or because these public LLM virtual assistants are not trained with your organizational data or the application data. However, every organization wants to have something of their own. That is the reason why every organization these days is looking at training their own model and deploying the model with some cool chat GPT like interface. So in this video, I will share in exact three steps. How can you create a chat GPT like virtual assistant with your own model for your organization? So let's take a look at the overview of three steps that we are going to perform in this tutorial. Step one, which is the most important part of this entire tutorial is to create a virtual machine on the Hyperstack platform. Hyperstack is a GPU based public cloud platform developed by NextGen Cloud. It's a complete GPU based platform. So the virtual machines are very fast and it also comes with 75% reduced cost. There are several other advantages why I have chosen Hyperstack for this tutorial, which I will cover as we proceed with the tutorial. Step two is to install and run Olama. So we will install Olama on the same virtual machine and we will run Llama 3 model for the purpose of tutorial. You can replace Llama 3 with your organizational model. Step three is to install and run open web UI Docker container. So again, we are going to run open web UI on the same virtual machine. So the Hyperstack virtual machines are completely GPA based. So they are very powerful. They can run all of these processes on the same virtual machine. So these are going to be the three steps. Let's start with creating an account with Hyperstack. You can see they are NVIDIA's allied partner as well. That itself explains why the virtual machines are super fast and comes for 75% reduced cost. So creating an account is very simple. You can use login with Google and just select one of your existing Google accounts. Within seconds, you will be logged into the platform. Another thing that I like about the Hyperstack public cloud platform is their user interface. It's very simple and straightforward. You can always see your current credit balance. And if we proceed with creating virtual machine, you will also notice the user interface for creating resources is very simple and straightforward. Click on deploy new virtual machine. So these are the different flavors of the virtual machines that they offer. There is only one CPU only instance, but for this tutorial, we will use GPU based instances. Why? LLMs are resource extensive. You need a GPU to run the LLMs efficiently. So we will pick up one of these uh, GPU based instances. You can pick up according to your requirement and choice. I will go with the popular choice A100 where it comes with one GPU, 28 CPUs, 120 GB RAM, 100 GB of hard disk. So it looks perfect for me and the pricing is also $2 per hour. So let me select with the other options. If you scroll down, currently they have only two regions. One is Canada and other is Norway. Soon they are also going to create their infrastructure and their region in a pack as well. Let's select Ubuntu. 
you can create a new ssh key or use existing one once you create one on the platform enable public ip address i will enable the public ip address because end of the day i want to host it within my organization i can restrict using the firewall access to people outside the organization okay then everything else looks good to me i'll click on the deploy button once the instance is created i will modify the network configuration to allow the inbound access to the resource i will allow inbound ssh access as well as the inbound traffic on the port where my open web ui is going to listen don't worry i have each and every step documented in the github gist file i am also going to put a link to the github gist file so that you can also follow the exact same tutorial also to create an account with the hyperstack platform you can use the link below in the description okay after a couple of minutes my instance is in the running state you also get an email confirmation to your registered email about the status of your virtual machine now let's go to the networking firewall and enable the ssh access along with that if you scroll down you have the inbound rule configuration if you have experience with any other cloud platform i guess you will like the user interface it's very plain simple and straight forward add inbound rules just for the purpose of tutorial i will add all the ports 65535 okay now it's in the pending status it will just take a couple of seconds for it to move to the success status perfect i have added the inbound configuration i have also enabled the ssh perfect now let's connect to this instance using the ssh so copy the public ip address let me take a terminal so i'm using my terminal and i will use the ssh command this is my pem file that i have downloaded and the instance ip address now i am connected to the virtual machine created on the hyperstack platform what is our step 2 so step 2 is to install olama for that we will use this curl command so olama is basically used to run your models let's say i want to run the llama 3 model or i want to run any other model we can use olama for that first using the olama model let's see if we can run any models on this uh, virtual machine for that i will pull the olama run llama 3 so i'm just pulling the llama 3 model to just verify if everything is working fine on this virtual machine or not so once this is running i will also interact with the llama 3 model i'll send some prompt to it and see if i am getting the response back you can also refer to the olama documentation so if you just search for olama you will find the documentation page click on the download you will see the command to download it choose your distribution or the flavor if you click on the models you have different models which olama can run i am using the llama 3 model so you can also click on this you will find the complete documentation and once the model is run you can also execute this curl command to verify if you will able to talk to the model through the command line you can directly ask question if you don't want to use the api let's say i will just ask what is argo cd so i got the response instantly back and look at the response of the llama 3 model 
that is only because you are running this on a gpu powered instance if you were running this exact same thing on a virtual machine that is only with the cpu on the aws or any other cloud platform you will realize that the response is very slow i can also verify this using the curl command so if i just take another terminal and use the same ssh command now if i execute the curl command here you will notice that i have the response back from the llama 3 that means the virtual machine that we have created is running absolutely fine with olama and llama 3 now the third step which is our final step is to create a chat gpt like interface for that we will be using open web ui before we use open web ui which we are going to run as a docker container let's quickly run docker on the virtual machine even after running olama after running llama 3 you can still see the response of the virtual machine is quite fast so to run docker first let's update the app repos once the app repositories are updated we can proceed with installation of docker it is good to add the ubuntu user to the docker group so that you don't have to grant permissions to the ubuntu every time you run the docker command you don't have to use sudo every time so let me quickly add ubuntu user after you add the ubuntu user it is better to log in back to the virtual machine so that the configuration is reflected for the user you should be also running the nvidia docker driver because the open web ui which we are going to install in the docker container requires you to have a nvidia docker driver now what is open web ui so open web ui is a self hosted interface for ai so it's a very cool very lightweight user interface for your large language models or any chat gpt like interface that you want to have for your model so this is what we are going to have towards the end of this video now what i'm going to do is as a next step i will simply run this docker command make sure before you run this docker command you have your nvidia docker up and running docker driver up and running okay it says error response from the daemon that is because after installing the nvidia driver we also need to reload the configuration and along with that it is also good to restart the docker now let's look at the docker process that is running and let me just remove the process and i will rerun the docker container perfect this time it is running let's use the public ip address and let me use the port 3000 you will notice that the open web ui is up and running initially you need to create a admin user so let me set up a admin user click on the sign up and abhishek viramalla that's it you are logged in to the open web ui you can see a chat gpt like interface this is exactly like chat gpt right you have a model that you can select you have the same uh, section to ask a prompt only thing that you need to do at this point of time you have the open web ui running along with olama you need to select the model i'm going to show you how you can do that if you go to the settings tab and if you go to 
admin settings here you can go to the model section and select any model of your choice that olama supports for example let's select llama 3 uh, let's use the tag 70b and if you click on this download button you can see that llama 3 70b is getting pulled and we will be using this same model in the drop down section and we can ask questions exactly how you ask chat gpt in your organization when you have your own model for your application you can replace that with the llama 3 model that i am using here so you can create your own model as well you can perform some experiment on your model also now this entire thing is only possible because we are using a gpu powered instance if you were not using a gpu powered instance the response for installing the model will be very slow and once this is installed i am also going to show you how quick the response to the prompt would be and all of this we have done on a single gpu instance virtual machine you can also increase the number of gpus if you have a larger team who is using this virtual assistant that we have built and developed but if you have a smaller team i think you can initially start with one single gpu as well let's see if okay it's almost installed perfect now if you go back to the new chat section in the drop down you will notice that model is available for the selection now the model is available for selection and you can start asking the question what is argo cd exactly how chat gpt takes little time to read your prompt understand and give you the better answer but once it starts giving you the answer the response is very fast you can also install multiple models and as you keep increasing the number of models also you need to make sure that you pick up the right virtual machine so i have used a virtual machine that is good for my particular uh, choice my requirement for the video but there are a wide variety of virtual machines you have rtx a4000 you have a5000 you have 6000 and you can also pick up let's say your model is very small you don't have to go to a100 you can also use a6000 which comes for 1 dollar per hour if you click on view configuration you can also see that it comes with one gpu 16 cpus and reduced ram as well as disk you can find the complete costing of the gpu based virtual machines different series of nvidia gpu models so you can compare identify the virtual machine according to your requirements if you compare this with any popular public cloud platform you will see the prices are almost 75% cheaper that is because the traditional public cloud platforms they have cpu based infrastructure they they have set up their infrastructure long time back which is traditionally uh, cpu focused it is set up on the gpu solution and they are not similar to the legacy architecture so you will not have any hidden costs around the corner now going back to the virtual assistant that we have created you can also use the admin panel to add more users of your organization right now we have logged in with the admin user you can grant access to few users initially start with certain uh, people and then explore it to everyone in your organization so this is the video for today thank you so much for watching once again i will provide the link to register and sign up with hyperstack in future the ml ops series we will definitely be using hyperstack to create virtual machines and practice things thank you so much for watching again see you all take care bye bye